TrueCrypt is a very popular open source software for on the fly encryption. What we really mean by on the fly encryption is that data is automatically encrypted right before it is saved and decrypted right after it is loaded without any user intervention whatsoever. Data that is stored on an encrypted volume can only be read after using the correct keys or passphrases. Another interesting fact is that the entire file system is encrypted. That is, that means the file names, the folder names, the contents of every file, free space, metadata, all this is encrypted. This is what the TrueCrypt primary window looks like. To begin, let's click on create volume. We now get two options. First would be to create an encrypted file container. And the second would be to create a volume within a partition drive. To understand this, let's look at a simple animation which would first talk about what an encrypted file container means. This is going to create a virtual encrypted disk within a file. The second option is to create a volume within a partition or a drive. We would use this in case we want to format and encrypt an entire pen drive, external hard disk or even the non-system partition on a computer. Let's have a look at a simple animation to understand this better. Let's go back to the previous uh, window that was the TrueCrypt volume creation wizard. Let's choose create an encrypted file container, then go next. Now we are presented with two interesting options. One is the standard TrueCrypt volume. This is like a conventional situation in which you have one password, which is needed to access the decrypted information. Now there's also something called a hidden TrueCrypt volume. This is a very different kind of a concept. Consider it as if the volume is going to have two different compartments and each compartment is going to have its own password and each compartment can hold different information. To understand this, let's have a look at a very simple animation. Going back to the volume type window, let's choose the hidden TrueCrypt volume option and click on next. Let's click on select file and enter the name of the file that we're going to create. I'm keeping a file called secret on the desktop. Then I click on save and we go next. Now we are presented with the outer volume encryption options. Now, as I mentioned earlier, we are going with the option where two compartments are going to be created. Each of these would have its own passwords. The first one that we are going to set up is called the outer volume. And we are going to choose two things. Firstly, the encryption algorithm. And secondly, the hash algorithm. Remember that the encryption algorithm cannot be changed once the volume is created. The hash algorithm is used by the random number generator, which generates the master key, secondary key, and the salt. I usually go with an option of AES two fish serpent or serpent two fish AES. You could choose any one of those. And for the hash algorithm, I usually go with SHA 512. Once we've selected this, let's click on next. We can now choose the size of the outer volume. In this example, let's take something small. So I'll choose a 10 MB. Go on next. Now it's going to ask me to enter the password. Naturally, the password should be complex, consisting of capital letters, small letters, numbers and symbols. But since this is just a demo, let's keep a simple password. So I'll call it outer. I can also have an option here to use key files. What we mean by key files is that we can, in addition to the password, use a file 
as a password so to say this file could be anything it could be text it could be exe mp3 avi any kind of a file can be taken of course what we've got to remember is once we choose a key file whenever we need to access this drive we would have to have the key file available with us let's click on next we now get a warning saying that short passwords are easy to crack TrueCrypt recommends a password of more than 20 characters but again since this is just a demo let's click on yes in the next screen it is recommended to move the mouse as randomly as possible within the out of format window the longer we move the mouse the better once we feel we've moved the cursor around enough we could click on format now let's click on the open outer volume button Let's drag a file called outer.txt into this. Let's shut this. Going back at the outer volume contents window, let's click on next. Now what we are going to do is we are going to create the hidden volume or what we are going to call as the inner volume. So let's click on next again. Again, we can choose the algorithms. I think we leave it as it was. We go for next. And now the maximum size we can choose here is 9.6 MB because this hidden compartment is going to be stored within the 10 MB outer compartment that we had initially created. So now let's choose 5 MB. Click on next. Again, we need to enter a password here. So I'm going to call it inner. We again click on next. Again, we're getting the warning that short passwords are easy to crack. So are you sure you want to use a short password? We say yes. We are now presented with format options. We could choose between the FAT file system type or the Mac OS extended. I'm going to leave it the way it is and click on next. Now again, we move our mouse randomly as, as randomly as possible. This significantly increases the cryptographic strength of the encryption keys. Once we feel we've moved it around enough, we click on format. We then click on OK. That's it. It says volume created. Now let's go back to the primary window. Let's select the secret file that we had created. This is the one that contains those two compartments, inner and outer. Let's see how we're going to open it. We need to click on mount. Now it's obviously going to ask us for the password. Let's enter inner. Say OK. And here we can see that it's opened it up. We can double click on it. Let's drag and drop some files into this and let's close this. Once we are back to the primary window, let's click on dismount. There, that's done. Now let's test what we've created. When we go to this secret file and we mount it and we enter the password inner. Let's see what it shows up. Well, it shows us that there is an image file called d.jpg, a file called inner.txt, and a folder called miscellaneous. Let's close this. Let's dismount. Now that the dismount is done, let's click on mount again. And this time, let's enter the other password. Outer. Let's say OK. Now let's see what it shows us shows us a single file called outer.txt. Let's shut this. Let's dismount. So what we've successfully done is we've created that TrueCrypt file secret with two compartments in it. When one particular password is entered, a different set of files shows up. When another password is entered, a different set of files shows up. Now let's go through the process of creating an encrypted pen drive. Let's go back to the primary window click on create volume we say create a volume within a partition or drive in the next screen let's choose the standard TrueCrypt volume this time you can click on next now we need to select the device that we are going to format now in this case I have attached a pen drive this is the pen drive that I have attached it's called Espresso let's say OK let's go next now what it tells us is that formatting of the device will destroy all data on the file system. Do you want to continue? We say yes. 
again now we can choose the algorithms this is similar to what we did the last time again click on next now it asks me to enter the password now here we have three different options I can choose a password or I can choose key files or I can choose both now let's try using both so first let me enter a password a simple one let me say I'm going to use key files in the next window we can add the files I'm choosing an RTF file called abc.rtf and a jpg file called d.jpg click on open now that these two files have been added a few things we must remember firstly TrueCrypt never modifies the contents of these files you can select as many files as you want and the order of the files does not really matter if you want you can even add a folder here in that case all non-hidden files in that folder will be used as the key files one very important thing to remember is that if we lose or damage any of these key files we will never be able to open this TrueCrypt volume again so you need to be very careful about that also if you click on this generate random key file button here TrueCrypt will generate a random file for you filled with some kind of random data and that can be used as a key file also now let's click on OK we are taken back to the volume password window we click on next now here it gives us a warning about the short passwords but since this is just a demo that's okay with us so we say yes we want to continue now here we need to choose one of these two options if we are never going to store files larger than 4 GB on this volume we choose the first option or we can choose the second option now in this case let's go with the first one we click on next now a very interesting option comes up about quick format now this is something we did not see earlier when we were just trying to make a TrueCrypt volume in a file this option comes in when we are talking about encrypting an entire pen drive or maybe an entire non-active partition now what this really means is that if we leave it unchecked the way it is right now each sector of the new volume which means each sector of our pen drive will be formatted and entirely filled with random data on the other hand if we select the quick format option which again is going to give us a small warning whether we want to or we don't want to but what is going to happen in this case is it will be much faster but the entire drive is not being filled with random data so again it depends upon how paranoid you are about your security in that case accordingly you would choose an option in this case let me choose on the yes and go with the quick format which is much much faster I click on next now here again it asks us to move our mouse as randomly as possible then we click on format again it gives us a warning that all the data on that device will be completely destroyed we say yes now we give it some time now in this case why it's taking more time is because it's not a small file that is being created but an entire drive that is being formatted once that's done we say ok and that's it the volume has been created in order to use this encrypted pen drive let's go back to the primary window and click on select device this is the pen drive that we've encrypted say ok and then we say mount now we need to enter our password as well as the key files that we have set Now that we've entered all the relevant information we click on ok there it's opened the encrypted container we double click on this now here we can just simply drag and drop a file now an interesting thing to remember here is that files can be copied to and from a mounted TrueCrypt volume just like they are copied to or from any normal disk in this case we just simply used a drag and drop operation similarly whenever a file is being written or copied to the TrueCrypt volume which has just happened you are it is automatically being encrypted on the fly in the RAM once you're done with whatever you want to do hide or read from your encrypted pen drive you can simply shut this 
then we return to the primary window and click on dismount there that's it we are done a few points in conclusion truecrypt never saves any decrypted data to a disk it only stores the data temporarily in the ram if you want to create a truecrypt volume to be stored on a cd or a dvd first create a file hosted truecrypt container on a hard drive and then you can burn it onto a cd or dvd that's all for now i hope you find this video useful